guys welcome back to my channel now I don't know about you guys but I absolutely loved the natural and glowing makeup the models wore for the Victoria's Secret fashion show this year so I decided to recreate the look first of all I am taking my models prefer liquid light brightening primer to prime my skin with and this is really going to illuminate it and give it a nice glow As always, I am taking the Benefit Pore Professional and applying it to the T-zone area of my face to help disguise the look of my pores. From what I saw during the show, the models didn't have heavy foundation on. They really let their natural skin show through. So, for foundation, I'm using the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation and I'm applying that with a Real Techniques buffing brush. assist with concealing my dark under eye circles as well as highlighting areas of my face. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and applying that to the dark circles under my eyes as well as down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin. And then of course I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and blending it all in. After that's done, I am now setting that concealer with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent and this product is amazing because it gives my skin a really nice smooth and airbrushed finish. As for the rest of my face, I'm using my Real Techniques powder brush with the Astralis Flesh and Flesh Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Natural. Victoria's Secret models are well known for having beautiful bronzed glowing skin so I'm just taking the NARS bronzer in Casino and applying that to my cheekbones along my hairline as well as jawline and then I'm also going to take that same bronzer and slightly contour my nose with it. For my blush, I decided to use a cream blush from Napoleon. I don't even know where I got this one from and unfortunately it doesn't even have a name on the packaging. So I just know that it's this really pretty soft pink blush from Napoleon. So I'm just using a Real Techniques stippling brush to apply that to my cheeks. Onto my eyebrows, here I am just combing them through because they are a little bit of a mess before I fill them in, but I'm using the e.l.f eyebrow kit in medium and just filling in my brows. After my brows are filled, I'm then setting them with the Models Prefer Brow Fixer Clear Gel Mascara and this basically makes them stay in place so they don't move around. Moving on to my eyes, so here I am just priming them with this Face of Australia Eye Primer and I actually feel like I should have used a flesh toned eye primer but it's done. So it's looking a little white but the first colour that I'm going to apply is my crease colour and I'm just using the NARS Bronzer in Casino for that. lid colour, I'm mixing these two colours together from the Australis Bronze Eyed Girl eyeshadow palette and just applying that all over my lids up to my crease. Going into that same palette, I'm taking this warm shimmery brown shade and applying it to the outer corner of my eyes. that same
same colour and running that along my bottom lash line. After that's done, I'm then taking a clean blending brush and cleaning up the edges and blending everything all together. I'm then applying this highlight to my brow bones just to give them a little more lift and add a bit of shimmer to that area. Of course, I have to add something to the inner corner of my eyes, so I'm taking another highlighting shade from that same palette. This one has more of a yellow golden undertone to it and I'm just applying that to those areas. If you know me, you know at this point I would apply a winged liner, but for this particular look I'm not going to because from what I saw it looked like the models were wearing a bit of pencil liner along their top lash line that was like smoked and blown out a little bit. So I'm just trying to do the same. I'm applying a brown one first. This is a brown metallic shade. And then I'm going to take a smudger brush and smudge it out a little bit. And then I'm applying a little bit of black on top of that one and smudging that one out as well. Now that all the shadows are done, I can finally curl my lashes and apply some mascara. This time I'm applying my all-time favourite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. It's my absolute fave. So I'm applying that to both my bottom and top lashes. It was at this point that I accidentally got some mascara on my eye and I was going to wipe it off but then I realised I should probably wait until it's dry so that's exactly what I did. And then after the mascara is done I went ahead and applied some Red Cherry Demi Whiskey False Lashes. Moving on to lips, the first thing I'm going to do is apply a lip liner to them. So I'm lining my lips and then filling them in. And the lip liner that I'm using is by Essence in the shade called In The Nude. to my lips I decided to go with Max Angel lipstick and I felt like this was perfect for this look so I'm just lightly dapping that onto my lips and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a lip gloss the one I'm using is the NYX butter gloss in the shade creme brulee believe I nearly forgot to do this step which is give my skin a shimmering highlight this is the most important step of a Victoria's Secret makeup look and I nearly forgot to do it so as you can see I'm just applying a liquid highlighter to my face this is the Australis highlights mineral face highlighter in gold and I'm just applying that along the tops of my cheekbones and I've also done it down the bridge of my nose and above my brows and then after this to really intensify it I'm applying the Mary Luminizer highlighter by The Balm. As you can see, this makes it crazy highlighted, but I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the highlighting part of this. There you have it guys, my 2014 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show inspired makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Also, I want you to comment down below and let me know who your favourite model was from the show this year. Mine is definitely Candice Schwanapol because she's absolutely beautiful. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.